Oh, what's up guys? Welcome to the Weeb Lounge. I have been doing more work. I have been productive. I've even rearranged some boxes on my shelves. Got a little monitor here, a whole bunch of other stuff, and a sore note don't you bought a poster because yes. Like seriously, it's the Weeb Lounge or whatever, so I need to start getting more posters up. I just kind of found this one, put some stickies on it, and hung it up, so yeah, that's what I did. Alright, well, I did a really, really early morning slash late night whatever stream, and I was putting together some rigs and some other stuff. I got two of these guys, alright? Got these both put together, got the hard drive on there. Um, I'm going to be doing another live stream at some point, probably soon, actually, probably before this video even goes live, but I'm going to start getting some uh, things tweaked out and uh, the motherboard, power supply, stuff like that put in, so we be doing that fairly soon. Got a monitor that I put here that surprisingly fits more or less at angled down, it's perfect because that has to hook up to whatever I'm building to help me out because I can't do that with this one because this computer is going. Yeah, whatever. This thing actually works, it streams, and I, even for the camera, I bought like this stupid, really long, look at how long this USB cord is, this thing is like 15 million feet away, I can literally go anywhere in the mining room now with the camera while I'm live streaming and just film stuff, because why not? Alright, other mining stuff, I've made some changes, I got some stuff going, now if you look over here, uh, one of them's kind of gone, ain't it? Where'd it go? Go over here. Another one's gone. Where the hell? Okay. This guy, uh, during the live stream, this is the one we put together. I put a 3090 in uh, just to kind of get things rolling on this. I can start adding and stuff. And I took that 3090 from this guy. And you can kind of tell this isn't nearly as loud as it usually is. Right? Man, this thing is usually like super, super loud. And thankfully, it's not anymore. Just taking one card out silences this thing. For those two rigs, you probably caught a little whiff of it. I put them underneath. Now, if you didn't notice this carpet here, I actually cut a big section off because, hey, nice cold floor, right? I put one there, and I snuck one underneath over here. Yep. Why did I do this? Okay, well, simple dynamics. Hot air rises, cold air falls, right? So I put that one with all the Zotac Trin Trinity OC blacks underneath and because it, it was having a little bit of thermal issues, right? I, I couldn't quite get it to run exactly how I wanted. I put it underneath there and I set all the clocks up a little bit higher and it's running beautifully. It's running better than it ever has just, just, just by doing that. Just moving it. I just, I, it's a huge, huge difference. So... That one's on the floor. This one I'm going to put on the floor. That one already moved. And hopefully also, I did that not just because, you know, temperatures and stuff, but I kind of have to because I have the rig over on the table I'm building and another one here. Two more rigs. All right. Well, if I move that downstairs, there's room for one. Underneath that table over there, there's room for another rig. Eight rigs total, and that caps me. Now that's going to be the most that I'm going to be able to get once I get enough video cards to put in on it. So that's going to be that. And man, you know, look at all this stuff. This, this is the backside when I was doing the live stream. This is the backside. All this crap. Processors. I got five Core i3 processors, but uh, I only needed two. I don't know why I have five, but there's five here, so backups are good, I guess. Oh, man whole bunch more RAM more than I need. I started going on a spending spree a little bit just to try to buy up all the things that I need. Like, like right here. Three more 12 slot uh, MOBOs. Uh, there's two rigs not built so one two for the race and then one for a backup. All right that, that's what that's going to be and yeah it's, it's been really crazy just trying to get all this stuff and I got two more server power supplies on the way. It's going to finish up the, the eight rigs. So I'm going to have all the power supplies I need. I'm going to, the only thing I am going to need once all this is said and done are video cards. That's it. Oh man, and that's of course the most expensive part of all this. It's crazy. But 
here's one good thing. I was a little worried about this. Now you might see, you come down here, that guy right there is a 240 volt extension cable, three plugs on it, right? I got one over, over on that side as well. And I'm thinking, okay, well, I want this rig and a little extra to work with those without overheating it, without overloading it. And from my little calculations, I think I'm perfectly safe, at least within the 20% margin, but not 100% sure. So it might be a little iffy getting enough. I, I have the power available, but I don't know if I have the proper plugs per circuit or whatever. So. Well, that's gonna take a little experimentation. Hopefully, I'm okay. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button, guys. Oh boy, I think soon, come Monday or so next week, whatever it is, that Mitsubishi air conditioner should be coming in and getting installed. And like I mentioned before, and yes, I've even changed stuff around here, uh, the Mitsubishi AC unit is basically gonna get installed right around in this area, so. Uh, what hopefully that will do now it's, it's a big expense right but we're hoping that hoping it should be more than enough cooling power to take care of all these rigs even when they're full to get the temperature down to nice crispy server room type temperatures because th this guy right here he's like 16,000 18,000 BTU something like that I, I one of the two it, it just doesn't cut it but with the Mitsubishi unit and being able to draw ducts and everything and make it more efficient, I will actually be able to keep those windows over there closed. I will not need an exhaust, hopefully. I might still have to do something there, but that's the idea behind it. So no electricity on that guy, no electricity on that guy. The Mitsubishi unit is super uh, efficient and more cooling in the house. And what that will actually translate to is not only just cooling here but a little bit to the weave lounge that will actually help the unit upstairs a little bit instead of hindering it meaning overall my electric bill should actually come down a little bit and everything will be cooler the house will be more or less back to normal and i need that normalcy Ooh, my god all right guys well the only other thing that i hope goes to normal is the freaking coin market because it's been down it's been stupid but i've taken the opportunity to convert some of my uh, cryptocurrency over to ethereum because Ethereum keeps tanking and keeps tanking a little bit and then it pops back up. I keep grabbing Ethereum or swap, swapping uh, crypto into Ethereum. Not a bad idea, but I'm no financial advisor and it seems like everything I put my hand into or whatever tanks. So yeah, don't listen to me. We'll see you in the next video, guys.